What do you think of when you hear the word pollution? That constant lump of dullness covering the sky? Those dust particles traveling through your system? That consistent <coughs> cough that just won't stop? Or maybe that unreachable scratch that keeps digging under your throat? Well, for me, I think of burning. Or more specifically, the burning of rice husk. But before I state all those facts, let me tell you about how this started. When I first moved to India, I was just a 10-year-old boy coming from Las Vegas. It was all so new. I love every bit of it. Yet, there's just one thing that has always bothered me. The pollution. Those months in the winter, when my sisters and I couldn't go play sports, when we couldn't walk around freely, and we would to wear a mask that covered our faces. It frustrated all of us. I'm sure it frustrates you too, but we were young. I was just 10. I couldn't do anything. And as the years passed, I could already predict when that haze over Delhi will set in, when that faint smell of smog enters your nose. And I'm sure, as all of you living in Delhi, know exactly what I'm talking about. So I started to wonder, where was this pollution coming from? How could I stop it? I turned to my father. Dad, where is this pollution coming from? He told me that it's from the burning of rice husk in the northern states of India, like Punjab and Haryana. So. What exactly is a rice husk? Well, a rice husk is a protective covering of a rice grain. It is what is left after rice grains are farmed. When I first found out about this, I thought, this must be a useless material. There's nothing I can do. But as I dug deeper, I found that it can be used in multiple areas, such as furniture, doors, chairs, and flooring. It kept digging under my skin that the burning of rice husk was completely unnecessary, and we can avoid it. I mean, the farmer knows all about his land, inside and out. He knows how it harms the environment. He just doesn't have that incentive to protect it. Now, let's look at some of those facts I was talking about earlier. The average farmer in India owns about three acres of land, meaning they are getting about 16,000 kilograms of paddy per year and about 6,000 kilograms of rice husk per year. Farmers are paying up to 2,000 rupees a metric ton to burn and dispose of their husk. And when I spoke to a few farmers in the northern states, they told me they're willing to sell their husk for about 100 rupees a metric ton. Each farmer is spending almost 14,000 rupees annually. In total, spending almost 21 billion US dollars. Instead of spending all of that money, they can earn a total of 167 million US dollars annually, just for their waste. And as I pondered upon ideas which were attainable for me, I look at companies like Amazon, who connect, buyers and sellers. It then came to me. We can create a platform connecting farmers to manufacturers, creating the ability to stop India's pollution. And I thought, if the CEO of Amazon can do it, so can I. Even you can do it. So can you. You know what? So can everyone else. The burning of rice husk has impacted the environment detrimentally, almost to an extent where it has caused irreversible damage. The farmers get paid, the air gets cleaner, and we can all play outside once again. Thank you.